Yo, what's up, guys? It's Afrix here. Finally, the brand new version 3.0 of WinLater has just launched, and let's start by taking a look at this change log. So, Import Audio plugin is one of the major changes where Pulse Audio has now been added. By the way, we'll be checking out the best settings as finally WinLater 3.0 gets the option to choose either Box 64 or Box 36 depending on the game which you want to try. Next up, we also have the option to choose the turnip version. Along with that, we have custom resolution option, improved input controls, lock cursor option, added task manager in main menu. So whenever you start win later, you will be able to access task manager, other bug fixes and improvements. In today's video, I'll be reviewing this update. So before getting started, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I'll keep you guys up to date with all the latest emulation news. With that being said, let's get started. Alright guys, let's get started. So you can update the WinLater emulator Android from its official GitHub page. As I always tell you guys, WinLater is an open source wine based Windows emulator for Android and right here you will be able to see that I have already updated to its version 3.0. Let me start off by telling you guys the minimum requirements to play WinLater version 3.0. Now as it uses Box 86 as well as Box 64 along with Wine, you need at least Android version 10 or above and 4 to 6 GB of RAM if you want to emulate some small Windows games but if you want to emulate huge titles such as GTA 4, you will indeed need a good device preferably Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 or above. That's how you guys know that Windows emulation on Android is no joke. So first of all let's go to settings and right here you will be able to see that we have the brand new option to choose the Wine version. So for today's video I will keep it as default but if we just go ahead and take a look at the box 86 or box 64 version you will be able to choose it according to your preferences for example the box 64 version which is being used in this version of win later android is the newest so we'll keep it as default because we always use box 64 we don't use box 86 turnip version is 24.0.0 and 23.1.6 is for adreno 6 series gpu so uh, Snapdragon 680 processor till Snapdragon 888 processor you need to use the 23.1.6 other than that this option has been enabled it's just an extension which is experimental stick mark it real quick and create a brand new container so right here you will be able to see we get to choose the screen size as usual it goes all the way up to 1080p resolution in 16 to 9 format but I do recommend you guys to go with uh, 800 by 600 or 1280 by 720 if you choose higher options then the experience won't be that good anyways graphics driver you have to choose turnip plus zinc if you guys have an adreno gpu if you are having trouble booting some games then you can try emulating them with llvm pipe software graphics driver but if you guys have an exynos or mediatek processor or any device with mali gpu go with virgil but for today's video i'll choose turnip plus zinc DX Rapper will choose the DXVK 1.10.3 as it is really cool. In terms of audio driver, as I told you guys before, Pulse Audio has now been finally added. Let's just go ahead and tick mark show FPS option and in processor affinity you can just go ahead and enable all processors afterwards let's scroll down gpu name is kept to 9800 gt uh, video memory size is 2 gb so that's about it let's just go to dx components and turn direct sound to native windows once that has been done you can choose your drives and go to advanced here you can select the box 86 or box 64 presets to compatibility or performance now if your game lags then make sure to choose as performance but for today's video we'll be going with compatibility once that has been done just go ahead and create your container afterwards tap on these three buttons and run this brand new container now when you create a new container it takes a good amount of time for it to be initialized so you have to be patient and be sure to comment down below if you guys face any problems while trying out win later on your android devices i'll try to find fixes for it but once our container has started you can just go ahead and swipe back to see the task manager option as well as toggle full screen i recommend you guys to make sure to enable toggle full screen let's swipe back again and take a look at the task manager option the tasks which are running you can just go ahead and tap on them and choose processor affinity in which you will be able to enable or disable cpu cores to be completely honest guys after this update win later has gotten pretty smooth like there are some small attention to details like just take a look at how smooth the mouse cursor reacts small attention to details like this give you a great responsive feel while using this app and right here at the top left corner you will be able to see that i am running cmu 1.26 on my android device so if you guys want to see a dedicated video of me testing cmu a vu emulator on android through win later then let's hit 250 likes on today's video and i'll post that video as soon as we complete the like goal for some reason though whenever i am trying to open or launch need for speed drivers on the win later android after this brand new update it's just freezing after the loading screen it's just randomly crashing every single time as you see right here the fps bar is now stuck at 1.1 
and the loading has stopped so that's pretty weird i think if you clear data of will hit your android as the settings configurations will conflict and the games may not work anyways that's going to be it for today's video make sure to hit that like button and comment down below if you want me to test out win later on my redmi k50i with mediatek processor i'll see you guys next time goodbye